Welcome, friends. Welcome to Faith Community Church 5 Before Podcast. I am Kay Simpson. We're so excited to have you here. We would love for you to interact with us, make some comments, share our podcast if you feel led. Um, And just know that it is is here every day of the week, um, 5 Before, on the Faith Community page, 5 Before 12, most of the time. And we would love to have you join us. And this week, we're talking about seasons. So on Wednesday, I talked about um, when fall and winter. And today we're going to talk about spring and summer. That's kind of how I've broken it down. I read an article. It was so good. Just talking about the different seasons that are in nature and relating those to the spiritual seasons that we might be walking through. So today I want to talk about spring and summer and how they reflect um, what can be going on spiritually as the same as nature. So spring can be one, y'all, it can be one of our favorite seasons. Everything feels fresh. Everything is growing. You know, the dorm season is over the flowers are blooming the birds are singing and spiritually y'all things line up and it feels like you know we see God working and he is fulfilling his promises and everything is being fulfilled and your ministry blossoms there's new opportunities that seem to be presenting themselves and it just seems like that dry season is a distant memory y'all and it's so easy in this season to really trust the Lord and see what he's doing and see how he is moving and for us to really move forward in this season. And also in this time, we can really nurture what is blossoming, what is blooming. So it's usually a lighter, easier season to walk through. And then the summer one can be a season, y'all, of just really being of relaxing, more lightness, more brightness, kind of a break from the everyday drudgery routine. If you think about, you know, going on vacation, going on summer vacation, sometimes it's nice to have that little break in our season. And um, for me, for the summer, I love to kind of relate where the fire increases, this fire of the Spirit really increases because the heat is on and the Holy Spirit is busy. I just love that analogy. And we just need to remember, y'all, that even though the Lord is busy, even though things are going on, sometimes we do need that break for ourselves and we need to take a little bit of a um, vacation, a little sabbatical, sometimes from the distractions of life. And really whatever is feeling heavy to us, sometimes it's a good season to um, really look more into the light and let some of that heavy stuff go. So I just encourage us to let this be a lighter season if you're walking through a summer season. And um, it's really when we can start thinking about harvesting and the field has been weeded, it's been fertilized, and it is just a season where the blooms are coming and you know the fruit is next, right? So what helps me in these seasons, y'all, is just to remember that they change, that they come and go, that they're moving, that they're fluid, and we're not going to be stuck in one season or another. It is not there forever. So we just need to understand and look, what season are we in? in, you know, ask the Lord, what season am I walking through now? What am I need? What do I need to learn from it? What can I acknowledge is going on here and how do I embrace it? And just kind of remember what am I focus on, focusing on? What is my focus going to? And just really surrender to that season so you can walk through it and get the lesson that you need to get. And I want to leave you with a couple of scriptures, guys, about each season. So this one is going to be the spring scripture. It's going to be Psalm 1-3. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. So we can remember that. There's also another one. Hosea 6.3 really stood out to me. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. So we can remember he is dependable and he will come. And then the summer scripture that I liked was Isaiah 18.4. This is what the Lord says to me. I will remain quiet and will look on from my dwelling place like shimmering heat in the sunshine, like the cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. So guys, I just want to encourage y'all to learn, be encouraged, to know that if you're in a tough season or whatever season you're in, to know the next season is actually going to come. And we really need wisdom to be intentional about what season we are in. We can rest assured that our life will not get stuck in that season, but that the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That was just a good reminder to me. So let me pray for us. Lord, I just thank you so much for 
the reminder of these seasons, how they come and how they go and how you're always, always the same. And I just ask that we stop and we be intentional about approaching these seasons. Show us where we are. Show us what we need to learn. Show us how to give you the glory. It's in your name we pray, Lord. Amen. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.